Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for tuning in here. Today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the newest addition to the Galactic Odyssey Generation Selects releases from Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy. This is the two-pack of the Paradron Medics, Ratchet, and Lifeline. So, um, the box art is definitely a box. So, this is, uh, is uh, yeah, just look at that. That is... Uh, that's gorgeous. That's the most beautiful box art you'll see all year. So, uh, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and crack them open and see what they're like. And here we have them out of their box. And this is a interesting set. Um, this is my first experience with the Earthrise RC figure. And then this Ratchet here is basically the same with all the updates from the Siege Ratchet and Ironhide to the uh, Earthrise Ratchet and Ironhide. So, for all my Van fans, we're gonna just start with Van Man Ratchet here. And again, most of the changes that has been made to this figure um, is the same Earth mode changes made from the Siege that they did on the Ironhide. So, if you're curious specifically on those, I covered that more in the Ironhide and Prowl video. But if you are curious as well with him here with his Siege homie, I don't straighten him up. Here he is with Siege Ratchet. So, um, I was a huge fan of the Siege Ratchet. Um, I liked it a bit more than the Ironhide. I don't know what it is about it, but there's just something a, a little bit um, hardy about him. Um, you can see that mine is customized. I'm kind of iffy on showing customized figures compared to stock because it's kind of not fair. Um, but you will see that the differences in my Siege Ratchet is I have a, a red painted crotch and hip area and red painted hands. So I think that's it. There might be another splotch or two, but I don't really think so. That's mainly the changes. The stock Siege Ratchet does have white in the crotch and on the hands. So sorry about that. But here are the two together. Get it from the back. He does not come with this uh, G1 toy attachment or anything like that. And you can see the difference in the white plastic. The Siege one is a bit more of an off-white. This is more of a kind of a pearlescent, uh, really bright, shiny white, I guess. Um, so the one change, too, I really kind of wish that it was brighter in the windshield, like the Siege version. So they look really good together. I'm really not decided, to be honest, which one's going to take over the main ratchet spot on my shelf. But I think they look really good together. And I, you know, the fact that... It is kind of a toss-up is really good to have that option. And I am very tempted to paint some of his bits red as well. Ratchet does come with, just like Ironhide, this roof piece, which is, it is a piece of parts forming, but it is a shield, as well as a thruster gun thing um, that they actually painted. Can't tell if that's painted white or if this is painted on the white plastic, but that's really cool. Um, I like to use this or like to think of this for Ratchet as, as at least um, some type of stretcher. Uh, I just think it's kind of more like medic appropriate for him. And this can plug on his back, just like that. He does have a gun, which is just a recasted iron hind gut in white. And then when it comes to this guy specifically, he does have a new head sculpt. Um, mine has some issues, though, not with the sculpt, but with the paint. You can see there's some splotchy spots on the left side of the face. There's a little bit of one on the crest, and the other is on the actual white part of the helmet. So um, I'm not too upset about that. I'll have to clean it up with some alcohol, but, um, you know... Oh well. <laughs> so for Ratchet's articulation, his head can rotate 360 on a ball joint. It can go up and down that much. It kind of gets some ricochet on that up. The arms are hinged, rotate in and out that much. Rotating 360 bicep. Hinged elbows that go that much. His wrists can rotate 360. His waist, we're going to pop this off real quick. His waist can rotate 360. Legs go forward and backward that much, they go in and out that much, rotate 360 at the thigh, bend that much at the knee, and he's got some angle articulation with some pivots because of his transformation. So Ratchet has really no shortage of articulation. He again can do pretty much anything an Ironhide can, but better. Now a lot of the fun to this guy is the fact that he is an Earth Mode Ratchet, so let's start looking at that Earth Mode. <laughs>
attach it in his earth mode. Now again, this is most of the same changes that was made to the earth mode Ironhide, but uh, I really like this. A lot of people's main issue is going to be back here with the feet, how they just kind of hang off the back. Um, I can totally see how that's an issue. Again, it's just super kind of awkward because you can see that up here, a back windshield was sculpted, so I don't know if they just kind of gave up on the feet. It ended up not fitting into the budget um, or what that is, and then as well, it just has the same Cybertronian tires as well. So um, the windshields and everything not being painted, it's because of where these kind of place in robot mode, it would make it look a little goofy um, since thinking about that in my Ironhide video. So I'm fine with that. Um, so basically just the wheels is my main issue. And then if somebody did make a fix for these feet back here, some replacements, I'd be into that. So um, here he is comparatively with his Siege brother. And they look awesome together. The Siege, again, it's more Cybertronian than anything. So they're not really meant to look super identical. Um, I really enjoy how these guys look. Again, I kind of want some more red on him. I'd really kind of like a sticker or something maybe back here that's meant to cover the window that's like a lifeline or something. I just would really enjoy that. And I really enjoy this um, red-backed Autobot logo up here. I think it's really striking and sharp. I enjoy it a ton. His vehicle mode weapon storage, you can always plug in his gun. And that is basically him in vehicle mode. And next up is Lifeline. So I just want to let everybody know that she is coming up a bit brighter on my camera than she actually is in person. In person, she's kind of more of a mint green. Um, so I've tried fiddling with my settings. It's not really working. So I think it's just bouncing so much off the gray. Sorry about that. But um, she is an interesting figure. Uh, again, this is my first outing with the Earthrise RC mold. And... Um, I was kind of on the fence about it, and I even holding one, I'm still kind of on the fence about it, unfortunately. Um, I was kind of hoping this figure would um, really make me fall in love with it, but um, as you can kind of tell, it's got some uh, issues. So the first issue is kind of the, the stance. It's got this giant backpack, which I'm usually fine with backpacks, but this is obviously some to, to some detrimental degree. Um, and then also the problem with her backpack on this is that these two tabs where it's supposed to plug into back here, it doesn't hold whatsoever at all. I've, I've lined them up, I've tried using something in there to wedge them in. There's nothing I can do uh, until I get in there with an X-Acto and shave down those pegs. So that is unfortunate. Um, and she doesn't feel bad. Her knees don't feel super loose, but you know, they're not super tight. Um, so obviously she kind of has a hard time supporting this backpack area. So I did want to do this with an all in one piece, but again, kind of the other issue that people have with this figure is the parts forming. So you can just press this lever and then you can release both sections and the thing can just come off here. And take this. So this is kind of like that backpack. This is kind of the, the, a lot of people's main issue with this figure is this backpack and the fact that robot just kind of lays in the vehicle mode, but you can take this and she's got these two blast effect ports on the top of it and she's got these peg holes on the feet. So you can plug her into that and Lifeline can uh, be zipping and racing and, and skateboarding all the way to the, to the crime scene. Yeah, I guess. Lifeline does come with a gun here and it is just a uh, more translucent plastic version of the Earthrise RC gun. I might paint this, might not, but glad she comes with a weapon. And again, I do not have the Earthrise RC to compare, but I do have the uh, Generations Thrilling 30 RC. So let me take her, straighten out her arms. And uh, this is how these two molds look together, at the very least. I know it's not the same character, same mold or anything, but uh, closest thing I have for a comparison. If Ratchet got one, uh, Lifeline needed one as well. So that's how they scale up. I'm still not um, decided if I'm going to replace this on my shelf for the Earthrise RC. Um, maybe the Kingdom one will fix some issues that I'm having with Lifeline here. Or maybe I just got a, a pretty iffy Lifeline. So, oh well. Uh, her paint as well, I think it's much better than the Earthrise RC. The Earthrise RC has a very just like stark white head sculpt with not a lot of paint. And Lifeline gets all the paint. So she looks really good, at least in the head. And I enjoy that a lot. Her colors really pop and she looks really fun at least um, as a standing action figure. As an action figure, she feels great, but as a transformer, there's you know some iffiness with her. But um, her articulation, she is on a ball jointed head that's fairly stiff, which is good. Can go not down, not up. Her arms can rotate on a hinge, but they get blocked by the back panels. They go in and out, rotating biceps. They've got a hinged elbow, goes in and out at the hand, or the uh, wrist more rather. The waist, not really the waist, but the midsection rotates. Um, the legs go forward and backward that much. They have an inner rotation on the thigh. They also have a thigh swivel for transformation. 
They are double jointed knees for the transformation, and these feet can pivot. So you can get some really good poses out of her. Again, she's a great action figure. Um, it's just some transformer parts of her that are a little, a little iffy in my mind. And let's move on to Lifeline's transformation. This segment is going to be interesting. I'm going to go ahead and apologize off the bat um, if this is finicky because she has the most simple transformation yet finicky because of how everything colludes and implodes in on itself. So let's go ahead and give it a shot and get it started. <laughs> Lines vehicle mode and I really enjoy the vehicle mode off the bat I do really like the vehicle mode. I think it's good um, At least as far as you know, it looks great from from that angle. Um, she does have some weapon storage you t take the gun and the Handle of it you plug it into that Rectangle hole up there so she can store her gun in vehicle mode I think she looks good in vehicle mode, but I just have to I have to be honest with with y'all and with myself, I just I don't know how much of a fan of this figure I am. Um, I'm really glad to have a lifeline in my classic shelf. Um, I'm totally cool with that, and I was really wanting to give this mold the benefit of the doubt, but I just am not sold on the Earthrise RC mold, and I think that's really unfortunate. I was hoping this would do it for me. This down here doesn't even really bother me. The fact that the robot just hangs out, it's the experience of getting it from robot to car. It's kind of nightmarish and took me a long time to get it at least somewhat on film um, for that sequence. So that is unfortunate. I wish I could fully recommend this figure, but it's, um, I just, I don't know, dog. And in closing on this set, Ratchet is a really nice Earth Mode Ratchet. I really enjoy it. He is the van ambulance. I like it a lot. Anything that I'd like to change about him, including some extra paint or anything back here, um, I can fix. The back of the feet in the vehicle mode, I really don't mind too, too much. Um, I'd like some Earth Mode wheels more than anything. So if anybody's making some of those, link them my way, because I just like him to have some earthy rims. So Ratchet's really nice. Might add him some more paint. Lifeline, again, I'm really glad to have this character in my collection, and I honestly feel bad for not being the biggest fan of this and reviewing it. Um, I don't mean to give uh, a type of negative review, but I, I have to be honest. And uh, yeah, this the, uh, Earthrise RC mold I don't think is going to do it for me. I don't think I'm going to be picking her up. So I'm glad to have this. Hopefully I can fix a few issues on there. Maybe sh shape down those tabs and tolerances and um, really make it a lot better. So um, is what it is. And I'm still excited to have these guys. If you missed out on this set, um, I would kind of really just focus on Siege Ratchet if you're missing out on that and that's your main focus. Um, Lifeline, again, she's cool and all. If you want her for character representation, great. But as for the character, or I'm sorry, the figure in and of itself, she's aight. So if you have any questions about this set, please feel free to leave a comment in the section down below. I'll get back to that as soon as possible. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.